you are going to miss salt with money for multiplication to attract abundance many of you you actually think using salt is fetish no 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 i will show you some verses in the scripture that actually support this salt is one powerful natural product that god has made for us to use for our blessing for our open doors for our miracle so this particular prayer we are going to use salt and money to break every charm holding your financial life at times you see that money does not come to you you see that you don't always receive financial favor you work and work and yet you are still broke you need to have money in abundance do this for multiplication do this for abundance do this to draw money to you do this to spoil whatever your enemies have done whatever your enemies have done to stop money from coming to you every cost on your finance every blockage to your financial growth because the first way the devil destroys a man is to take away his money his financial blessing without money you are basically useless you will always lack respect and prestige because you are broke you are always begging you are always borrowing so this is one way the devil uses to devalue human beings to make you an object of ridicule an object of scorn so you're going to use salt to pray for money you're going to add salt on this as a point of contact to all the money you will ever receive as a point of contact to every evil done to your money or with your money to destroy everything done by the evil ones see let me tell you it is very easy for the enemies to do evil with your money at times when you buy something there are some evil people you think they are sellers but when you buy something they keep your money. They use that money against you. As far as your hand has touched that money. Even in the bus, commercial buses, some drivers also use your money. Even among beggars, you think they are begging. You want to help them. You give them money. Problems. They take your money and tie down your money. I'm not saying you should not do exchange or buy things again or help people again know what you should always do always learn to soak your money with the blood of jesus before you give it out to prevent financial costs financial spell do this very important okay so now we are going to pray for god to release every of our money that the enemies have used to block our financial growth to block our financial growth every cost or spell holding our money every evil done to our finances you're going to use salt pray on salt to break this so now i'm going to show you a version of the bible talking about salt let's go ezekiel 43 verse 24 ezekiel 43 verse 24 you are to offer them before the lord and the priest are to sprinkle salt on them and sacrifice them as a burnt offering to god so in this ezekiel they were offering sacrifices to god and they were asked to sprinkle salt to make that offering whole and acceptable the second scripture judges 9 verse 45 judges 9 verse 45 all that day abimelech pressed 
his attack against the city until he had captured it and killed his people. Then he destroyed the city and scattered salt over it. After destroying his enemies, he destroyed the city and sprinkled salt, scattered salt, to prevent any further attack, to take possession of what they have stolen. This is why Abimelech sprinkled salt after he destroyed the enemy to render every other evil power useless. Now let's look at Chronicles 13 verse 5. Chronicles 13 verse 5. Don't you know that the Lord, the God of Israel, the God of Israel has given the kingship of Israel to David and his descendants forever by a covenant of salt. So the Lord Almighty gave the kingship of Israel to David and his descendants with a covenant of salt. When you make a covenant of salt, it is not breakable. When you hold salt and make a covenant, the Lord made a covenant of salt with David and his descendants giving them the kingship of Israel. So salt is very powerful. Very powerful. Let's look at 2 Kings 2 verse 20 to 21. Bring me a new bowl, he said, and put salt in it. So they brought it to him. Then he went out to the spring and threw the salt into it, saying, This is what the Lord says, I have hid this water. Never again will it cause death or make the land unproductive. This is 2 Kings 2 verse 20 to 21. For God to heal the land, for God to make the land productive, they prayed with salt. They scattered salt, sprayed salt on spring. Spring is like a small river. They use that to pray to God to make the land productive. See, any natural product made by God, you can use it to pray to God. Even the food you eat, you can pray on your food. Oh Lord, as I eat this food, let there be healing. Even the water you drink. So there is nothing wrong when you pray with salt. Anything at all created by God. So far you pray on it. To bring the power of the Lord on that end. So now get your money, any currency from any country. Take out any amount of money you have. See, money brings money. If you want money, money will give you money. When you spend money, you get money. It is evil in the Bible. When you give out money, you receive money. But when you hold money, you will get nothing. When you invest you reap the reward. So money always bring and attract money. So the quickest and the fastest way to get money is through money. So this prayer, we are going to pray on money. But we are going to add salt. So this is our salt. This is ordinary kitchen salt. You can decide to use sea salt. Just take a pinch of this. A pinch of this, a pinch of this, and add on your salt. Fold it up like this. And begin to pray. Tell God that whatever evil they have done against your financial growth, every evil word spoken against your finance, every curse. Every cause that you will not make it, that you will never progress, every word cause, every word spell. At times, there are some people, they curse you and make a spell to make it very effective. Everything evil done against your financial growth will spoil with this. Whatever they have done with your money in the past that is tying you down financially, no matter what you do, money does not come to you. Whoever is sitting on top of your progress will never succeed. Every spell done 
against your money will be destroyed. Oh Lord my God, I pray for abundant financial blessing. Oh Lord, send me money. Oh Lord, let there be multiplication. As I pray with this sword in this morning, let there be multiplication. As that sword is uncountable, I draw forth uncountable money in the name of Jesus. As this sword in this money is uncountable, I draw forth uncountable money in the name of Jesus. Remember, you cannot count sorts. You can't. In the name of Jesus, every cost laid on my financial growth, every cost laid to stop my progress, to stop my sources, to stop money from coming to me, I command that sort to break today in the name of Jesus. Everything evil done that is making me poor, Oh Lord, spoil it. Every charm, every evil dawn that is holding me down, Oh Lord, spoil it in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant made with salt to stop my financial growth, Oh Lord, spoil it. Whatever is blocking money from coming to me, Oh Lord, remove it in the name of Jesus. Destroy every financial obstacle. Destroy every money block in my life. In the name of Jesus, I draw forth money from the universe. I draw forth financial blessing. I draw forth financial open doors. Money will come to me. In the name of Jesus, as I pray like this, oh Lord, money will come to me. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Tell God to scatter every curse. Tell God to break every chain holding you down financially. Tell God to break every door locking your financial blessing. And everything the evil ones have done that is stopping you. Every family pattern of poverty that is making you not to grow financially, beg God to scatter it, to remove you so that you can move forward, assess your blessing, and have money in abundance. So when you are done, you do the last process. I pray for you as you do this, whatever evil that is stopping your money, that is stopping money from coming to you, Whatever they have done, by whoever, whenever, wherever, however, to stop your financial growth, will spoil in the name of Jesus. It will spoil in the name of Jesus. There shall be blessing. There shall be open doors. There shall be financial miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. So when you are done, leave this like this. Leave this like this. For three days before you spend the money. So keep this like this. Anywhere you know it is safe. Keep this in your wardrobe, on your table, anywhere. Keep this like that for three days. And begin to thank God. Begin to worship God for the blessing you are about to receive. So after three days, you take this outside. And sprinkle out the salt. Spray it. Spray it. Let it go and bring forth money. Let it go and bring forth blessing. Let it go and attract your helpers. Let it go and break whatever was done to stop you financially in the name of Jesus. Then the money, make sure you spend it. Buy anything. And that is it. With this you have done. Every evil done. Every money spell done to stop you. Whatever is hindering your sources. There are some people. Nothing they do work. They try this no result. They have been suffering. Begging and borrowing. Pray to God. Say this prayer. Pray on your money. Pray on your finances. Let God deliver you from financial captivity. As you do this, the Lord will deliver you from financial captivity in the name of Jesus. Whatever is tying down your finances, whatever is keeping you at one spot, whatever is driving words away from you, the Lord will destroy in Jesus' name. Amen. This always work. Do this prayer any time of the day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you share with your friends. I will see you again.